I think one very important reason to stay or neuter your pet is the overpopulation of homeless pets. We need to look at our own selves as taking responsibility for decreasing that problem as much as we can. Actually, you will be. There are only a set number of homes. If those homes are filled with kittens or puppies from your own pet, then those homes were taken away from those animals that have already been born and through no fault of their own. Unfortunately, that also it is just not true. Um, the shelters do an incredible amount of good. They're amazing. A lot of them have volunteer staffs. The commitment is, is, is tremendous. Unfortunately, the resources just are not there. There's only so many places these, uh, these guys can be housed. It's a terrible thought that some of those animals, unfortunately, millions of those animals are going to lose their lives. There's just no place. And the other option would be a no-kill shelter. And the problem with that is that these animals will live the rest of their lives in the cage, the rest of their lives. And, you know, those of us that love our pets, it's just terrible to think of that. It's not like being in a home being on a lap with something that you love. It's not like a scratch behind the ears or, or sitting on the sofa watching the SBO. It's just not a life for these guys. I'd like to chat for just a moment about the behavioral reasons for spaying or neutering your pet. And these are the ones that I think as pet owners we're really looking at. First of all, neutering your, your male cat, very, very important. Um, male cats, when they get to be about seven months of age, that testosterone gets rolling, and, and those cats will spray. And when they begin to spray here on vertical surfaces, uh, they're not too picky about where that goes. Male dogs also will, will mark their territory with urine, and they do tend to do that less than the male cat, but they will lift their legs inside, and, and that I think is um, something that none of us want to go through. Neutering your dog I think is very important because they're easier to keep those guys home, they're less inclined to be off trying to uh, find someone to mate with. Some studies indicate that unneutered males are more likely to be aggressive, not only towards other dogs but also to people. Um, spaying the female dog, this is probably not so much behavioral but something to think about. Is that female dog is going to go into heat every six months. Now this means she's going to have a bloody discharge that she cannot control for about two weeks. It's only after that that she's actually fertile and the male dogs will begin to circle around the yard. But quite frankly, it's just not really pleasant for the dog or the family. And then the female cat, if she goes through heat, um, they go in and out of heat for several weeks on end. They're quite loud, they yowl, um, and those cats are actually very difficult to keep inside. Those girls are really trying to escape. Um, again, I think anyone who's seen a female cat in heat knows that, that that girl is really pretty uncomfortable. So I'm looking at, at, her, at her perspective as to whether or not that's a pleasant thing. In the case of the male dog, uh, these problems are associated with the older patient, but we can see um, problems with the prostate in the unneutered male dog. Those virtually are eliminated with a neuter. Obviously, we don't have to worry about testicular tumors, either benign or malignant. The unneutered male dog also is more likely to develop a perineal tumor, and these are malignant and are really fairly aggressive. So anything we can do to decrease
is a very good plan. Neutering the male cat, uh, again, a lot of this is behavioral. These guys are very anxious to breed, and if you've ever tried to keep a cat inside that really, really wanted to go outside, I think you know that um, it's almost impossible. These guys, when they go outside and they're trying to, to, to breed, you have to worry about fights. There are uh, diseases that are transmitted with fight wounds, and these are fatal diseases, uh, not only by fights, but also with venereal contact. Also, much more likely to be hit by a car. There's just tons of reasons for them to, to, to run around when they're not neutered. They're covering a lot of territory and incurring a lot of risks. Same with the female cat. A female cat is very anxious to be bred, um, and your little kitty that you would have never thought could behave like this is very anxious to get outside. And that's actually where a lot of these unwanted pregnancies and unplanned pregnancies come from, is the female cat, very anxious, sits outside, either no one realizes she's gone or she comes back, and you know, the damage is done. There's a lot of reasons to spay the female dog, and, and this is something that uh, is not widely known and is very important. The female dog, if she's spayed before she goes through heat, she has virtually no chance of developing mammary tumors. Mammary tumors occur more frequently every time she goes through heat. A dog that's been through heat four times, now even if she stayed at that point, beyond that point, she has a 25% chance of developing a mammary tumor. Half of those mammary tumors are malignant. It's a one in eight chance of mammary cancer. It's just been stayed after her fourth heat. And so even if she has gone through four heats, it's still important to stay her because most of those mammary tumors have estrogen receptors. And when we stay these gals, we remove their ovaries, and the estrogen is virtually eliminated body, so her chances of having a mammary tumor, although they're the same, those tumors grow much more slowly, and we can remove them before they have a chance to spread. Another very important medical problem with the female dog, and this is usually with little dogs, and most of the small female dogs I've seen that have not been um, spayed, it's because they're small, and a lot of folks think, well, it's not much mess, um, she's not going to get pregnant, so I don't need Right now, unfortunately, as these gals get older, the lining of the uterus does not shed like it's supposed to after every heat. This can build up and thicken over time, and the uterus can actually become one big abscess, and it's called pyometra. Those gals are typically eight, nine, ten years old. They're very poor surgical candidates by the time we see them because they're really quite sick. All in all, tons of reasons to spay or new to your pet, and, and I can't really think of one reason not to. I'd like to thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I think talking about spaying and neutering your pet is very important. It's a, a very important part of your pet ownership of, of taking good care of your pet is to make an informed decision as to whether or not you should spay or neuter them. Every veterinarian, every veterinary staff member would love to answer the questions you have. Please feel free to call your family veterinarian, the SPCA, call us. We'd be delighted to talk to you. I just think it's so important to make the informed decision now that you have some more information, an informed decision for your pet and for your family. Thanks so much.